I'm looking forward to giving you a little bit of an update on my hair. But before I jump in, I wanted to tell you guys where I have been. I have a project that I've been working on for the past several months in order to be able to encourage people who are either considering marriage or they are currently married and they're wanting to make sure that they experience all that God has to offer us in those relationships. And so in the midst of this, I've written my first book called Marriage is Amazing. And I basically took myself back to when I started my relationship with my husband 13 years ago. And I was in that premarital counseling stage. I'm all excited. And I was just trying to find out, you know, how are people doing? How are they making marriage work? You know, what are the things that they're doing while they're in these fragile years? So I took a little bit of time to just write about it, talk about it, and come from a biblical perspective. And so if you know anyone or if you are interested in that topic, again, this is not just for married people. This is so that people can be able to see what does God have for us, where it concerns our marriages and our relationships in general. Then what I want you to do is I'm going to provide the information down in the description box so that you can learn more about the book learn more about the company that I have started in order to be able to self-publish. So I'm now a self-published author and I've been going through that whole entrepreneurship experience. But really this book is birthed out of a strong desire that I have to see people happy, to see people in healthy relationships, whether it's their marriages, their friendships. I just want to see people not struggling in the parts of our life that mean the most to us. God laid this on my heart. And so I've decided that I'm going to take it. I'm going to respond to it and I'm just going to do my part. So if you're one of the individuals that this book is for, then I hope you will connect with me and learn more about it. Also, if there's people in your circle, then I hope that you will be able to just kind of help me to get this very positive very encouraging message into the hands of the people who need it the most. So you can visit me on www.macheenterprises.com. It's in the description box. Or I would really love it if you guys would start engaging with me on Instagram at Mache, M-I-S-H-A-Y TV. And so you'll find all of that down in the description box. Now let's talk a little bit about this hair. I am currently at the, I'm at about 22 and some change months. I will um, reach my full two year anniversary around March the 20th. And as you guys can see, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. Um, in the front, I still have ends that have not closed, but you'll notice that some of them in the front have closed now. So my hair is starting to, you know, mature a bit here in the front. Um, one of the latest kind of discoveries that I've had is that I have to make sure that I am braiding my hair down and that I'm keeping it braided longer after I wash it. I like fullness. And so what I have a tendency, what I was doing was I was unbraiding it too quickly and my hair started to just like shrink up and bunch. And when I was talking with my consultant, she said, look, you need to make sure you're stretching these locks because we can do some, you know, repairs and fixing later if necessary. But you do not want your hair to drop and mature with this bunching in it. And so what I've started to do is just braid it down more, um, especially after I wash it. And as you can see, you know, it's doing well. So let me give you guys a little bit of a view of all of it. And you're going to notice that with my hair, because of the type of cut that I had before I started locking it, it is a little bit longer in the front than in the back. But you can kind of see from the side here how it's doing. So right at about shoulder length, maybe a little longer there. All right. I still deal with like the dryness and a little bit of flaking. And so the main way that I'm combating that is just to keep it clean, make sure that I'm definitely washing it um, at least every two weeks. Um, I do dilute a little bit of the Carol's Daughter Vanilla 
what is it called? The Carol's Daughter Vanilla Bean kind of spray. I put a whole bunch of water in it and then um, a little bit of that in there. And then I'll kind of spray my scalp after I've um, shampooed. But other than that, I'll do that maybe once or twice in between reties and I'm still retightening every six weeks. And then if I need to, occasionally I will just mist my hair with distilled water that has a little bit of rosemary and tea tree oil in it. And that's it, guys. I'm still not using, you know, really products or anything like that. And the new thing is just to keep it braided down so that it's not bunching. Um, but as you can see, guys, I'm really feeling it. I like the way it's starting to kind of mature, the way that they're starting to look more like actual locks and everything's going well i told you in a previous video that i did sign up for the sister lots class so i'm looking forward to taking that soon so that i can learn how to do that i'm gonna start maintaining my mother's hair um so i'm excited about that and from there we'll just kind of go on the journey and see how it goes but i will make sure that i check back in especially at the two-year mark so that i can and i probably will make sure that my hair is not in a braid out so that you guys can really just kind of see how it's doing and what its current condition is. But I thank you so much for all of the support and the love, just dropping down in the comments and engaging with me. And I hope that you will come with me on this new journey as I seek to just encourage people in the area of their relationships and their marriages. So if you're ready to join me, then go to Instagram, follow me at Mache TV. And then definitely go out and visit the website so you can learn a little bit more about what God's doing in my life. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.